So I was going through some of my old electronic stuff from about uh, 15 years ago in a box, and I found this thing here. It's a LCD display uh, with a keypad attached in a box. Um, I believe I was planning on making an MP3 player for my car at the time, and this was going to be the user interface. I was going to put a little PC in the car uh, with a hard drive that would play music, which um, I think I lost interest, and shortly after that I got a car that came with a stereo that played MP3s off SD cards or something, so it became a ridiculous idea. But I, I thought I'd take a look at this and uh, see what it is. So this is a matrix orbital uh, LCD display unit. It's got a little driver board here that powers the LCD display. Uh, it communicates by RS-232 or I squared C, and it's got a little connector where you can hook up that keypad or, or various other kinds of keypads, and it provides an interface for both of those. So I thought it would be interesting to hook this up to an Arduino, and uh, while the Arduino does support I squared C, and you could just hook it up there, um, I thought it would be more interesting if I could hook it up through this serial interface, and the reason for that is everybody uses serial print as a debugging mechanism. It usually comes up on your computer screen with the serial monitor from the IDE. Um, and if I had this working over serial, it could serve as a, a serial monitor that I could use without a computer, and it would display little messages for debugging on the LCD, and I wouldn't have to import any libraries to drive it or anything like that. So I thought I would see if that was possible. Okay, so here's the code I'm going to be using for this test. You can see it's very minimal. We just have a serial begin here, like you usually do for debugging purposes. And then I'm printing hello world with a delay. And as you can see, if I pop up the serial monitor, it is running right now, and we're getting hello world, hello world, hello world. So I'm going to try to make the same thing happen on the LCD display instead of the screen. So the first thing I tried was just hooking the transmit uh, pin on the Arduino to the receive pin on the serial interface of this LCD. And as you can see here, I get some interesting gibberish, which shows that the LCD can display things. But obviously we don't have the right uh, logic levels going into the circuit. So here's the problem. Uh, RS-232 was meant to go over long distances. It was used for uh, printers, modems, and other serial things with PCs. Up till a few years ago, PCs had serial ports. And in order to handle longer distances and, sh and uh, noisier connections, they use a bigger voltage range. While the Arduino uses like a 0 to 5 volt voltage range here, the uh, RS-232 interface uh, goes from plus 13 to minus 13, or it can actually accept a wide range of voltages, but it is inverted, and uh, in order to get a bit, uh, you have to go below the zero into negative voltages. So we need to convert the 5 volt signal that the Arduino uses into something that the RS-232 interface can understand. Okay, so here is a simple circuit that uh, takes care of the difference in voltage levels. Um, here's the interesting part. They have an electrolytic capacitor here with the positive end connected to ground and the negative end connected over here. Um, the reason for that is we need to send a negative voltage some of the time to indicate the, uh, the highs in the RS-232 communication. Um, so this backward capacitor uh, picks up the idle, uh, the negative idle voltage from the transmit pin of the RS-232 interface and stores it, and then we have a negative power supply that we can use elsewhere in the circuit. Um, here's the part that goes to the transmitter of the Arduino, and that's being switched by this transistor so that it will either be uh, at VCC, which is 5 volts, or it will come from this negative uh, power supply. So um, our voltage is just going to swing between um, 5 volts positive and negative 10 volts or whatever is coming off the RS-232. And that's enough of a difference for it to work with RS-232. And then the rest of the circuit over here takes care of the transmit pin from the RS-232 
and switches it uh, between VCC and ground to send a 5 volt level signal to the Arduino. By the way, that uh, circuit diagram was from SparkFun. Uh, they have a nice article about RS-232 and TTL, um, and that's the circuit. Uh, if you go to their website, more importantly, you can find a little LCD that they sell that already does all of this, so you don't need to find a 20-year-old module to do it yourself. So I've built the first half of that circuit here. You can see the uh, capacitor here connected to the transmit of the LCD display to create that negative power supply. And then I have the transistor here connected to the transmit of the Arduino which is driving the receive input of the LCD. I haven't built the remaining portion which would allow the LCD to communicate back to the Arduino. So if I ever wanted to use this keypad, I would have to do that. But in the meantime, let's see if it works. Aha, hello world. All right, so we have a serial RS-232 display running off an Arduino with no libraries and just serial print. Uh, obviously, this isn't the best way to do this, and in part two, I will hopefully make a more optimal way to set this up so that I can use it in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. By the way, if you're curious, the exact LCD module I have here is a Matrix Orbital LK204-25, and it's from 1999, although I think they still make similar models.